Alrighty, now that we've got the G chord down, uh, we're going to work on the C chord. Now, this chord has a couple of different ways to play it. Um, you know, if you, if you get a regular guitar teacher, they may have a different way here. But I'm going to teach you my favorite way. Basically, uh, this way you can go from a G chord to a C chord very easily. And it, uh, it makes it a lot simpler, at least for me when I'm playing. So... Now... The easiest way to do this is to make a G chord. Now, uh, I'm sure you remember how to do that from the last video. Uh, it's the second finger on the third fret on the first string, first finger on the second fret of the second string, third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, and the fourth finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Now, if you're confused about that, you probably want to go back and watch the other video, but basically, you know, it's just a... Okay, remember that one? Now, what I want you to do is take your first and second finger and just move them up a string. And so now your middle finger will be on the third fret of the second string. And your first finger will be on the second fret of the third string. And so therefore, when you strum, see? Now, your fingers may be a little small, but uh, if you maneuver them just right, you can actually have your middle finger just barely touching the top string here. Um, what that'll do is mute it uh, during this chord. You don't want to play the top string. Uh, the top string doesn't have anything to do with this chord. And so if, uh, if you can't do it yet, that's okay. You know, your fingers are still small. Um, basically, just try to start strumming on the second string here. And so you strum down. And you get a C chord. Um, basically, the nice thing about this is that with uh, with little practice, it's very easy to switch between those two chords. Yeah. So uh, when you're first learning, it's kind of better to use these. Uh, to be completely honest, I've been playing guitar since you were a baby, and I still play the chords like that. So I mean, uh, you know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And so uh, yeah, just. So there you go. Um, just try to practice uh, practice both chords, practice a G chord and a C chord, and try to practice switching between them here. That's the big thing. Is you're going to want to get used to having your fingers go into different positions there all the time, because that's kind of what you're going to be doing uh, a lot once you actually really start playing. And so, uh, you know, just try to practice switching between them, and uh, as soon as you're comfortable with that, um, I'm going to be working on the video for the D chord. And and that'll kind of be uh, basically G, C, and D. You know, like I said, those are the those are the big three chords. Those are the ones I'll let you do a lot. So um, as soon as you get with these, uh, just check out the next one, and I'll see you there.